This is a series of videos. Please refer to the methods of stitches, ignoring the yarn color. Select the corresponding yarn colors in your material package to learn. Please refer to both the videos and the instructional brochure during your crocheting process. Please make sure to first view the beginning 10 instructional videos to learn the basic methods of crocheting, and then view the instructional videos for your purchased product. The Halloween Bookmarks In order to show the stitches more clearly, we'll use green yarn instead of black yarn, and red yarn instead of white yarn for demonstration. Please refer to the stitches, ignoring the yarn's color. First, we'll crochet the main body of each bookmark. And then crochet the bookmark pendant. Take out the practice yarn and the corresponding crochet hook from the kit. Please watch the tutorial videos and practice the basic stitches first. The hat. Take out the corresponding yarn. Wrap the yarn around your finger. And then bring it up to index finger. Pinch the yarn tail with your thumb and finger. If the yarn tail is too short, we can pull the yarn tail to make it longer. And we can pull the other side to shorten the yarn tail. Leave a long yarn tail here. Work into a magic frame, make a loop around your midfinger. and pinch the crossover of the yarn with your thumb and finger. Insert hook into loop on finger. Yarn under the hook and the flap loop. A match grain is formed on the midfinger. For beginners who crochet for the first time, please use the matching practice yarn to practice basic stitches until you have mastered the methods before crocheting. In order to show the stitches more clearly, we'll use thicker yarn for demonstration. Working to match ring. Wrap the yarn around your needle finger. Then bring it up to index finger. Make loop around your middle finger. Pinch the yarn with your thumb and middle finger. Insert hook into the loop on your middle finger. Yarn on the hook, pull up a loop. The loop on the middle finger becomes the match ring. In round one, start with one chain stitch, and then work six and crochets. Finally, end with one slip stitch. The chain stitch services as the beginning of each round to raise a height, and the snip stitch services as ending to join each round. They are not counted into number of stitches. Work one chain stitch first. Yarn over the hook, and put the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. First, work a chain stitch. Yarn on the hook, pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. 
such a V shape is formed on the side. The chain stitch is stress the height and will not be counted into a number of stitches. Then work six and crochets. Insert hook into the magic ring. You are under the hook and pull up loop through the ring. There are two loops on the hook now. Then yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. That's a single crochet. Insert hook into the magic ring. Pull up loop through the magic ring. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn on the hook. Pull through both loops on the hook. One single crochet is done. Such a V-shape is formed on the side. We need to mark the first stage of error round. Place a marker in the first stage through the underneath of both loops of the V shape. Insert hook into the match ring. You are under the hook and pull up loop through the ring. Then yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. The second single crochet is down. Insert hook into the match ring. Yarn under the hook and pull up loop through the ring. Then yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. The third single crochet is down. Continue to work three more single crochets in the same way. Six way shapes on the side stand for six and crochets. We can count the way shapes to check the number of stitches. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Remove the marker and work one slip stitch in the first stage to join this round. Insert the hook into the mark stitch. You are under the hook and pull up loop through the stitch. There are two loops on the hook now. Then pull the first loop on the hook through the original loop on the hook. That's one snip stitch. Snip stitch. Insert hook into the next stitch. Hook the yarn. Pull the yarn through the stitch and also pull it through the original loop on the hook. That's a snip stitch. Repeat. 
Insert hook into next stitch. Hook the yarn. Pull the yarn through the stitch and also pull it through the ringing loop on the hook. Repeat one more time. Okay, that's a snip stitch. The snip stitch services as collection. It's not counted into number of stitches. Round one is done. In round two, start with one chain stitch, and then work six and crochets. Finally, end with one snip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Yarn over the hook, and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. The chain stitch is stressed the height and will not be counted into number of stitches. Then work six and crochets. We need to work one and crochet in each stitch. We work the first and crochet in the stitch where we just worked the slip stitch of the last round. Each stitch, namely V shape, has two loops. We should insert hook through both loops of the V shapes to finish the following stitches. Work one and crochet in each stitch. Finish six and crochets in total in this round. Remember to mark the first stage of error round. Continue to work five more sun crochets in the same way. Six and crochets are down. We can see two small V shapes here. One is a snip stitch of previous round, and the other one is a chain stitch of this round. They are not counted into number of stitches.
skip these two way shapes and work one snip stitch in the mark stitch. Remove the marker. Insert the hook into the mark stitch. Yarn under the hook and put up loop through the stitch. Then pull the first loop on the hook. Then pull the first loop on the hook through the original loop on the hook. That's one snip stitch. The snip stitch services as collection. It's not counted into number of stitches. Round two is done. This side with the yarn tail is the back of the fabric. The other side facing us is the front. We'll crochet with the front side always facing towards us.